What's up guys? My name is Oss Wayne. Today is just going to be my day in the life of eating to stay, sustain single digit body fat percentage. So without further ado guys, let's go. All right, before anything else guys, here's a physique update for the morning. So I'm currently about 202 pounds, six foot five, and somewhere between eight to 10% body fat. And this is what I'm rocking. So yeah, it should be a pretty boring day of eating, but yeah, it should be fun. All right, guys, you know how we do it. We are starting off the day with an iced black Americano, no sugar, anything like this. This is great just to push that fast back an extra hour or so while I'm getting some work done. Okay, guys, a couple of hours have passed now. Now it's about 11 a.m. So now I'm technically breaking my fast with my iced matcha. This is amazing. It's worth every single calorie to me. I love these so much. Okay guys, so I have all the food. We are about to eat all of this food. Now, I'm just gonna explain everything that I have. Now, I actually eat one meal each and every day, and I know that this is pretty extreme, and I don't actually recommend anybody do this, but like I've said, I'm a little bit psychotic whenever it comes to my fitness stuff. So I wanna maximize the HDH, I wanna maximize the testosterone. And honestly guys, I hate, hate, hate thinking about food. Like if I feel like I still have 600 calories, 1,000 calories left. It's all I can think about. So if I just have one meal in the afternoon and then I just don't even think about food for the rest of the day, it's much, much easier for me to stay focused, just focus on my goals, whatever it may be. Because I know that those macros are up. There's no chance of eating anything else. So I won't ever mess up my macros, guys. So here we go. First up, we have chicken breast and then steamed veggies. And then I never eat the potatoes. I always throw the potatoes out. So it's literally just chicken breast and steamed vegetables. Now I have two of these. So two chicken breasts. And so obviously that's just like pure lean protein. I believe that's like 80 grams of protein just between these two. And then the veggies are all obviously just very low calorie in general. Okay. Now the chicken is great for getting those macros, getting that lean protein. Now guys, before this, I actually was eating about 600 calories ish of smoked fish every single day. So this included tuna, this included smoked oil fish and then salmon. Now here's the thing, the protein was amazing. I noticed a lot of gains from the extra protein and then obviously just the healthy fats. But I did feel my body start to just, it, I felt like the heavy metals increasing in my body. Like I could almost like taste like metals and almost like the taste of pennies. Like whenever I drink water, like, Overall, guys, I think the just metal toxicity is way too much to be eating fish all the time. I still love fish, but I want to minimize it just to maximize my overall health. So for now, we are going back to chicken for most of that protein. Okay, so that's what I eat. And then next up, guys, we have two chicken Caesar salads. Now, these are amazing. I never actually use the dressing that comes with it. Now, guys, if you'll notice, I don't like cooking. I hate cooking. I cooked for like a year whenever I was vegan. I'm tired of it. I don't want to cook. So I just buy all my stuff pre-made or I'll go out to eat and just get everything pre-made already for me. Okay. Now this is together. It's about total about one chicken breast. Okay. So all in all with all of the chicken, I eat about 360 grams of chicken, which is three chicken breasts and about 600 calories and about 111 grams of protein, 13 grams of fat, and then obviously no carbohydrates. So very lean, it's an amazing source of protein. Guys, one hack that you can do is literally, because a lot of you guys cook on your own, you can literally cook that much chicken breast at home, and then that's what you can use to break your fast. So now you've got 111 grams of protein, and you're only at 600 calories. Now let's say you need 2,000 calories to be shredding body fat, this means that the rest of your day can literally be super flexible. You can have a Snickers bar, you can have a couple slices of pizza, you can maybe have a beer. Like This is what I've done in the past as well, just have that flexible dieting to have all my macros without really thinking about it or being too hard on yourself. So the key is just going to be consistently hitting these macros and finding the easiest way that you find it possible to do it. Lately for me is obviously just eating one meal a day and not even thinking about it, primarily chicken. And so, yeah, so this also includes about one, about one to two eggs in between the two and then a little bit of onion. And then there's 
two small pieces of toast, which is amazing with it. And then I also eat the lettuce, which is good veggies as well. Now, next up guys, we have dragon fruit. Now I actually eat three of these. Each one is about 60 to 100 calories, depending on the size. They're primarily water-based. It's an amazing source of carbohydrates. And I live in Bali, Indonesia. So they are very accessible, very cheap here. And honestly, they are my favorite fruit. Because like whenever we are dieting, guys, we want to have the most enjoyable foods possible while still hitting those macros so that you feel actually inspired to keep dieting. You know, like if your diet is too bland, if it's too boring, you won't want to keep this up for a long-term lifestyle. Okay, next up, we have string cheese. Now, wherever you are in the world, guys, you can probably get string cheese. And string cheese is amazing when it comes to proteins, healthy fats, and just hitting all of the vitamins that you need. So one slice of string cheese is about 60 calories, five grams of fats, and then about six grams of protein. This is pretty much international. If it's like the cheap, like just fake, fake cheese, probably don't have much protein, so make sure it's like real mozzarella. Now, typically I've been eating one of these per day. Before guys, I was only having one package of the chicken and then I wasn't having any string cheese and then I was having the three packages of fish. So I pretty much replaced the fish with more chicken and then some string cheese. So I'm bumping the fats up a little bit and then the protein down a little bit. And overall, I think this will be much better for my hormones as well long-term, just testosterone, everything, okay? So that is another thing that I eat every single day. And the last, but certainly not least, is going to be dark chocolate. Now this is 69% cacao and it is salted. So this is amazing. I love dark chocolate. It tastes amazing in my opinion. It tastes much better than milk chocolate if we're going to start an argument's sake. But here's the deal, guys. Once again, this makes dieting so, so fun. Because guys, if you cannot have chocolate, if you cannot have foods that you just really enjoy on your diet, you're not going to want to stick to it. So yeah, that's pretty much an average of what I eat every day. Nothing has the calories, nothing has the macros. So it's all just an estimate. So estimate total with everything is typically about 2000 to 2400 calories, depending on each size of everything. And then typically about 130 grams of protein ish, and then about 30% fats, and then the rest will be carbs. Here's the deal, guys, I've been tracking macronutrients for literally almost a decade. So whenever it comes to like, oh, how do you know if you're in a deficit? Like, how do you know if you're hitting the right macros? I can literally just sense it by my body with exactly how much I've had and just how my body reacts to it. So I'm, I'm guessing most of you guys watching this have never actually done that. You've never obsessively tracked all of your calories and macros for like a, a 10 years, basically. So if you've never done that, guys, you need to obsessively track with either MyFitnessPal or just even use like the calculator like on your phone app. So whatever it is, guys, you need to consistently know exactly how much you're eating because a lot of people naturally overeat and then they think they're still hitting their macros. So this is what I eat on a typical daily basis to hit my just closer to maintenance. I'm still in a slight deficit, but I'm pretty much just maintaining because once a week I'll still have my cheat day. And so at the end of the week, my calories are pretty much at maintenance for the average of the entire week. Now guys, this is just because my fitness goals right now is mostly just body recomposition and then just sustaining my new physique. Because in the past six months, guys, I've literally gained 25, 30 pounds of lean muscle mass and I've gotten leaner too. Like obviously I have a six pack and stuff. So I just want to sustain this new like Greek God-esque physique that I have created rather than trying to keep pushing, pushing, pushing because I have other goals I want to focus on at the moment. That's why, in my opinion, you, you should actually accomplish your fitness goals. It's not to actually just accomplish the fitness goals. It's because whatever else you want to accomplish in your life, guys, this physique is your vessel. This is at where everything else comes from. This is the temple. So if you don't have the physique of your dreams, if you have not put any work into your physique, I find it very difficult to actually achieve the other goals that you want to accomplish in this life. So get the physique in order first, guys. Even if that means eating the exact same thing for six months in a row, never missing a workout, whatever it takes, guys, you have to put in the work to actually achieve your goals, okay? So that is what I eat in a day. Once again, guys, I'm a certified personal trainer. If anybody watching this needs help with their fitness goals, hit the link in the description box for your free one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. And then guys, like this video if you enjoy this type of content and just what I like to eat in a day. And no, I'm not filming it, filming myself eat just because I eat one time per day, guys. 
I really don't want the camera on me while I'm eating that one meal. I'd actually rather enjoy it, maybe watch a YouTube video, just just re be, really be conscious of my food and not have some device just staring at me, okay? So yeah, subscribe if you're new to the channel, guys. And that is it. I love each and every one of you guys. Peace.